Today is a very special day because today The Last Jedi releases, at least here in the UK. And I scored a double viewing of it. They're showing The Force Awakens at 9 and then they're gonna show Last Jedi right after it. And I'm seeing in 3D IMAX too because it's Star Wars so it deserves the very best, right? So right now it's uh, 4.38 in the afternoon, which means I have a little less than five hours to go. It's gonna be a long five hours waiting for this, but it should be great. Okay, so let's see. It's 20 before seven now, which means I have two hours 20 minutes to go. Since it takes me a little while to get to the tea, to the movie theater, uh, I'm gonna leave right now. See you guys on the other side. station. Here we go. Oh, that's embarrassing. I forgot my wallet. That's what happens when you're too excited about something. I gotta go back home, get my wallet, <laughs> and try this again. Shit just got real. I honestly cannot feel my face. Look at all this snow. Uh, I'm close now. I'm walking through a mall. The movies on the other side. Whew. I am one with the force. The force is with me. Made it. Alright, so Force Awakens is done. Next up is The Last Jedi. And I ran into some people here. So say hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> For the rebellion! <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This was by far the best one out of all of the Star Wars movies. Uh, I mean, I know when I walk out of one after first seeing it, I probably say this every time. And I mean it every time, but this one... You know, The Force Awakens was a little tied down because they needed to do uh, a lot of homage to the original ones and a lot of people say that it was too much like A New Hope which to an extent I would agree 
it didn't really stand on its own as they always say when you watch some kind of sequel of any part of a trilogy every good movie needs to stand on its own in my opinion it did but not quite to the extent of the last jedi this movie uh, they ryan johnson managed to do something that in my opinion is one of the hardest things to do like he gave us everything we hoped for and everything you already know is going to be there but cooler and then at the same time he made everything unexpected nothing that happens in this movie is what you would expect this is quite a feat especially for for a franchise this big it is an amazing movie and if by now you're living in a different planet and you're not a Star Wars fan uh, watch this one and then go back and watch all of the other ones because after this one you will see that it's worth it and after that if you don't become a fan then I don't know what to tell you man oh man and I also recommend doing what I just did watch Force Awakens and then watch this one in sequence it's very good because a lot of things connect obviously it's a great idea and with that I bid you good night I'll see you in the next video